Welcome back. We are continuing with our election wrap up, moving to the Texas House District 77. Four Democrats were vying to succeed incumbent Representative Lena Ortega, who is not running for reelection. And with no Republican running, the winner of this race will automatically be elected to serve a two year term starting in 2025. Our KTSM 9 News reporter Tirza Ortiz has been following this race for months and has all the details. Good morning. The votes are in and according to El Paso County results, the Texas House District 77 race is headed to a runoff. Vince Perez and Norma Chavez will face off after receiving the most votes out of the four candidates. Vince Perez, former county commissioner, leads the race. He said he is immensely grateful to his supporters and he believes his success comes from his campaign's plans to tackle issues like education in the legislature. Perez telling KTSM he is looking forward to the runoff and to win the trust of voters. As I've said, you know, our campaign is going to talk about ideas and our vision for El Paso. My opponent has demonstrated she prefers to talk about people and tear down people. And that's really the, the different uh, visions that I think voters are going to see. Uh, somebody who wants to take El Paso to the next level and somebody who's been the representative in the past and El Paso didn't get anywhere under her leadership. Perez's challengers in the runoff election will be Norma Chavez, former state representative. Results put her in second place. Chavez shared that she believes her seniority and experience will win El Pasoans over. Well, I think from the very beginning, we've been able to tell the people that seniority matters in this race, that I have the legislative experience, that I have the institutional knowledge and I have the capacity to impact for El Paso. Uh, with legislative accomplishments, I've brought appropriation writers, past appropriation writers, constitutional amendments, and I've been able to deliver for El Paso hundreds of millions of dollars. Both candidates say they're starting from the bottom with no one guaranteed to win in a landslide. Perez and Chavez say they'll continue campaigning and reaching out to voters, both looking forward to the runoff. The winner will replace Representative Lena Ortega, who has held the seat since 2017.